Hi Collective, I hope everybody is good. We're going to get some messages um, and see what Spirit wants you to know at this time. You can purchase my $9.99 um, bottle of Sex, Love, and Me. It will come in a roll-on bottle. Also, I am doing, till the end of the month, $30 readings on sale instead of um, $40. $40. Alright, so let's begin. I hope everybody is great. Um, if you want me to make a specific spell tutorial, um, message me or comment down below. Also, I'm trying to get my subscribers up to a thousand so we can do the Patreon and do more behind the scenes and videos, spell tutorials, because I'm not going to continue doing any more um, unless you have a question, obviously. Um, until we do our Patreon, we make our membership. So with that being said, let's roll the dice, ring the bell, and let's begin. My um, stonesformagic.com finally came. My chariot necklace uh, bracelet. My lotus stone anointing oil. So we have number nine. We have um, our pyrenite nephrite jade, our orange selenite pendulum. It's really pretty. Nephrite Jade. We have Sagittarius and Pluto, Scorpio and Transformation. Nephrite Jade. We have Black Kyanite, Peacock War. Um, this beautiful Serpentine. Yes, Serpentine. It's like this one, but this one looks like snake skin. It's really cool. It's like lizard skin. The camera doesn't do it justice. Um, my Caribbean calcite came in. Um, my pre night. Uh, Alright, let's, let's keep going, guys. Oh, and my little tiny phantom quartz. Here's the peacock ore. Shiny. Little black kyanite. So let's get some from the rooms. Oh, and this is black kyanite, if you're wondering. Very good cleansing stone, good for protection as well. Um, I'm wearing a deer's eye talisman, also a very good talisman for protection. I'm wearing amber today. So let's begin. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, what do you want our collectives to know? Where Sagittarius is. I have three placements Sagittarius, Sun Sagittarius, three Scorpio, two Capricorn, and one Aquarius. So I have all four elements in my chart, Earth, Air, Fire, and Water, and Lilith and Aries. We have Manas, Mankind. This talks about intelligence, creativity, skill, and ability. With Rado. Rado, the wagon. So these guys could be moving or um, a journey, vacation, relocation, evolution, change of place or setting, personal rhythm, world rhythm, and dance of life. And this is called the Cosmic Whisper Runes deck. Okay, let's get one more card, please, at this time for Sagittarius's. So my Amazon wish list is on my bio, if you're curious. We have Dagaz, the day at the bottom. And this talks about um, change, of dire change directed by your own will and transformation. So we have transformation twice now with Algiz. Sorry, this was at the bottom. We have Algiz protection. This talks about defense, warding off of evil, shield, guardian, connection with the gods, awakening, and higher life, which I just told you Black Kyanite's really good for warding off um, this talisman. Deer eye and bat nuts. It's a herb. It's not actual bat nuts. Is another good thing. You can find that um, on White Raven, which is layer.com. Stay Wicked. She has a whole bunch of um, cool stuff on there. She's got camphor incense. She's got oils, anointing oils, decks, and she's called on YouTube um, White Raven. So check her out. 
and Sue's Ancestral God with Gibo, the gift at the bottom, which is the X. So this talks about um, and Sue's communication, signals, inspiration, enthusiasm, speech, true vision, and power of words. So it seems to me you're having a very um, surreal experience or something very um, vital and transformative is going to occur in your life, Sagittarius. Um, that you may be called to things that maybe you don't know why you're called to or um, premonitions. Let's get this deck. Have certain premonitions. Okay. For Sagittarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Also welcome, Cross Watchers. You're also very welcome here. We have Amber, and that's my amber necklace so confirmation for somebody and i did this pulled these cards earlier off the camera and i actually got that card too that's why i actually wore the amber i was gonna wear um what stone was i gonna put on today So I was actually going to wear Blue Appetite, which I wrap my crystals myself, make my own jewelry. Blue Appetite was the stone I was going to wear today. So, a lot, I'm in two crystals, so a lot of my crystals have um, healing properties. Um, you should buy a crystal book if you don't have one. And I'm also really into herbalism and oils. So. It's coming in for Sagittarius at this time. Okay, we have Cocoon Stage Rebirth for some of you. We have des Desolate, half the cards just fall off on my lap. We have Weave, so you're weaving together something right now. These are really cute cards, by the way. Um, Cosmic Child, and that's actually the cover of this deck. Not sure what it's called. Um, we have a Light, a Flame Within. We have Crescent moon and I got that one earlier we have adder ardor with you're literally reaching your goals and trove crows are actually very smart birds um, this girl I met she actually used to put quarters out to the crows and they'd bring her dollar bills back and um, one time they brought her a five dollar bill so crows are very smart anything else please for Sagittarius Okay, we have light, we have crescent, and we have labyrinth. So you could be literally feeling like you're lost or trying to gain information through, or access to information um, through outside forces. We have adder. Let's get a couple more, like one or two more. Ooh, weave with glimpse. You may feel like you're, you're glimpsing into something new. Are barely scratching the surface with this um, new thing for you. Let's find out more. I want to find out more. I'm going to use this deck. Also, in Temu, not sure what it's called. All my boxes to my decks. I don't keep them in the boxes, they're all not in my room, so I can't help you. <laughs> but if you do want to know, just comment down below what the deck's called and I can. Um, grab the box and let you know if you're interested. Okay, so what's coming in please for Sagittarius? I also watched Jenny Metherill. She's a fourth generational witch. Um, I watch Shira Star Goddess. And what else do I frequently watch a lot? Moon Moth Goddess, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you, Soul Source, Tarot, Feline Intuition, and um, Wendy's Tarot. Also, I watched Mickey Boo's, Mickey Boo's Tarot. Feline Intuition is on in the background right now. My first reader ever that I started watching was Soul Source Tarot. So we have Amethyst, Acceptance, and Courage. And rich love. Okay, 
so you may be going through the acceptance stages of something right now and gaining light or activating some type of light through this trans transition. I think we, I believe we're in Sagittarius moon right now. So I can relate with this labyrinth energy. Looking for like a lost object or you're trying to gain more information on a certain subject like me. Um, spirituality as far as like ghosts and spirits. Another one I like is Cyber Witch. I just started watching her. We have Clear Quartz, Divine Connection, where you're from, your divine lineage. Book of Shadows, we have Lineage and Roots, literally confirmation where you're from, where you get your gifts from. If you had gifts where you think you access your gifts from and understanding how you access your gifts as well. We have Phone Tree Community with Rose Quartz Healing. Okay, we have New Moon, New Beginnings. You're weaving in new beginnings, so that's why you may feel a little lost at the moment. Because things are probably going to more than likely fall into place for you. We have Fear, Death Watch Beetle. Let's get one more, please, for Sagittarius. Cyber Witch does a lot of working with demons. She has classes. She works with um, incubuses, uh, spirits, um, Lilith, deities. So she's really cool. She's interesting to watch. Let's get one more for Sagittarius. What should they release at this time? I feel like you need to release something before, or that's for your highest good. Before you can completely succumb this cocoon stage or, I don't know, realize something, figure something out. That's a miss, recklessness with resurrection. Don't do something that you know is going to be dumb for your health or dumb overall in general. And then we have circle around the moon change. So you're calling and change, Sagittarius, and I like that. We love change, and we're the um, travelers of the zodiac. Let's see. I'm actually happy I'm doing a reading for us tonight. I feel like it's been a hot minute. We're also going to ask a question with my new pendulum. I have my orange selenite. I have my moonstone. And I have, I got like five more up on the wall. Some of them are different. Like, they're not actual stones they're copper and bronze and then we have turquoise so we're gonna use a new one tonight i did sun sage it but just um to be on the safe side i'm gonna use sandalwood to to sage it you, you um let it swing through the smoke three times and that's actually how you cleanse pendulums And we are in the year of the dragon, so things are going to be hot, they're going to be quick, they're going to be kind of blown up in proportion, um, and fiery. So sunstone is a fire sign, or firestone, tiger's eye, um, labradorite, I believe is lapis lazuli. Let's start. Let's go. All right, so think of a question in your head. A yes or no question. And I'm wearing blue sapphire. I wrap myself. Um, blue sapphire and peridot are very good, wonderful crystals that attract fairies. The fae. Show me yes. Thank you. Show me no. It's so light. Show me now.
Thank you. My ears ring. My right ears ring. So it's a yes, whatever you're asking. Still saying yes. saying no. Thank you. I asked if anything is wrong and it said no. And I said I'm being protected right now and I said uh, am I protected and it said yes. So that's reassuring. All right. That's usually what you want to ask or when you have pendulums you will pick them up and you can sleep with them by the bedside and you want to always want to ask um, because sometimes energies can cling to us or get attached to us. Um, and you just want to be like, is everything all right? And ask your pendulum. That's a sure way, a sure sign that your pendulum will let you know. Um, and Jenny Mathril does a video on that too as well, pendulums. So we have the Empress and JKL, first, middle, last initial. What is coming in place for Sagittarius is at this time. I heard Wicca, um, Witch. Some of you guys could be literally um, high priestesses or priests. I just have a lot of, have many spiritual gifts, gifts in general. I need to get a water scrying bowl up here. I can scry at the same time. Okay, I'll grab the messages, please, for Sagittarius at this time. I'm fine, because I'm a Sagittarius, too. Haunted ghosts, no vibe skeletons in the closet, and we have the star. Insight, inspiration, hope, and selfish aid, good health, the gifts of the spirit, great love will be given and received, and that's Aquarius energy. Aquarius energy. Okay, what's coming in, please? Okay, Archangel Gabriel is coming through. We have Earth Angel, born to shine, everybody wants you. And we have um, missing a major piece of the puzzle with karma. We also have karmically connected, binded, or spell work at the bottom. Okay, we have the lovers. So Gemini energy, choice, temptation. And this is on a new moon, so confirmation for some of you guys. Some of you or you may have been doing magic. Choice, temptation, attraction, the struggle between sacred and profane love, harmony of the inner and outer aspects of life. We have Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could have been doing, I'm hearing hoodoo, voodoo, or black magic on you. Binding spells in particular. Because they don't, they want to control your energy, um, or try to control the forces of time, I'm hearing, so that you can't excel, or you can't have an afterlife, like when you die, you can't go to heaven, they kind of want to control the narrative for you, collective. Um, this person may be losing their home. We have new home. We have fired, lost job, or broke. We have strength, and we have rotten, good girl going bad. We also have ABC, VHI, first, middle, last, initial, with temperance. So that's our energy. Return of a surprise lover, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Karmically connected, binded, or spell work, with healing, rest, and recuperating. So for strength, we have force of character, spiritual power, overcoming material power, love triumphing, over hate and higher nature over carnal desires. 
and I, I was going to put that away. Spirit wanted me to keep it out. So there could be a feminine here too, working with um, this earth sign or could possibly be a Gemini as well. YZ, first, middle, last initial with this person could be a sex addict or definitely has third party energy interferences I'm hearing. In particular, injustice, Libra energy. Justice will be done. Justice will be won. Balance is required. Lawsuits will be won. Balance personality demands elimination of excess baggage, wrong ideas, useless forms of education. Show me more about this earth sign. Who is this earth sign? Um, working with this uh, feminine energy against my Sagittarius. I collected that this time. Or possibly me, because my first mineral is Y. The Hermit, Virgo energy. My ex is a Virgo. Silent counsel, prudence, discretion, receiving wisdom from above. Group of two or three or more people. Um, instruction from expert in your field. Attainment of goals. Journey may be necessary to gain knowledge. And they don't think that you're smart enough to know these things. Or me. They don't, they don't believe that we're smart and that we know what's going on behind the scenes, what they're really doing. They're not healing, resting, recuperating, obviously. Um, you are collective and we have judgment. So Scorpio energy, a life well lived, a work well done. Um, awakening, renewal, legal judgments in one's favor, change of personal consciousness, which is now on the verge of blending with the universal. And like I said, they try to um, trying to stop you. So that's astral projecting their energy to try to stop you. VWX. We have yes. STDs, unprotected sex, car repairs, or money loss now. Secretly hating on you, energy vampire. This person is jealous of everything you have in here. Everything. Astro projecting their energy to try to stop you. Confirmation again. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. death scorpio energy transformation they could have been even wishing ill will on you intuitive but you're seeing through the fog you already know something what's up pqr planning to secretly attack you or i'm hearing rob you tower aries energy also could be dealing with water sign or have water in your chart cancer pisces scorpio this entitled Sweet Talker wants something, and we have the star of the new home, so Aquarius Energy. And we have Tower Change, Catastrophe, Conflict, Overthrown Ways of Existing Life, Old Notions, Upset, and Bankruptcy. So some of you may need to protect yourselves at this time, protect your energy. We have Insight, Inspiration, Hope, Unselfish Aid, Good Health, the Gifts of the Spirit, Great Love will be given and received, and received to you at this time. The Devil, Under the... But their spell work, they, it backfired. Uh, we have the devil, so black magic. Discontent, depression, illness, wrong use of force, bondage to the material, sensation, divorce from understanding. Like I said, they're doing the inner work. They're going to get caught, off, caught up in something and caught off their game. They could even be going to jail, like that card said. We have the magician here, so this is definitely um, a black or not black magic, um, a dark witch, a black, or a dark ma magician, I keep smart to say black, but dark actually means what you cannot see, bad or evil would actually be, obviously, the definition of bad, not dark, black magic, black, let's find out more. They're, yeah, they're trying to... I'm going to get what the energy is right now coming in. Okay, Archangel Angel Jophiel is showing up. Tell me to get the tea leaf. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So your light, your third eye is open and activated. 
the light was on upstairs. We have um, tower. If you can just sense when something's off, spirit saying. Solid foundation, success with effort. We have fly a period of ill health or depression, and it, it's in reverse. They want you. They're trying to mess with your health. We have dragon beware of self delusion. This person's very delusional. Bread period of prosperity and abundance. Like I said, they want what you have. They're jealous. We have candle. You will be shown the way. Of who to trust and who not to trust in here. Um, key, successful outcome to your problem. And we have a marriage. S something to do with a marriage. We have whale, well, great worry over nothing. Dagger, uh, fear, worries, tense situations. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. And like I said, this is what they want. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. We have clouds, temporary problems. Let's get the other half of that this deck and then we're going to get the Kepper and my Oracle deck tarot deck majors, all majors and that kind of just um, lets me know what the energy around this reading is looking like coming in for, for us at this time, for the month now to the end of the month we have the wheel and decisiveness allowing your life to amble, ramble, <laughs> ramble aimlessly broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem some of you guys are trying too hard um, or thinking is kind of like believing or making it like say you feel like or really with all your being feel like somebody's texting or cursing you you're setting yourself up to be cursed because you're pretty much cursing yourself for believing that it's worked it worked and that it's true so you have to believe that it's not happening um, protect yourself, like I said, and let the jinx bounce off of you. Let you let yourself be literally the walking karma, so it reflects, deflects back off of them. Things you can do to protect yourself: wear anything reflective, a mirror, a necklace that's a mirror, sunglasses. Um, like I said, these talismans. Um, look into books, research. We have fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair, and also white raven. She's a really good one to look up on YouTube as well. We have pineapple reconciliation. Okay, caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. We have older woman confirmation. So somebody from your family that passed on that's in spirit form is here. In spirit is here with you. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. We have happiness. I just heard happiness hater. We have tulip and we are gonna pull what's the tea. Uh, great passion. Rose, romance is in the air, very nice. We have arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. And you could just run into your person or have a reconciliation, very nice. We have rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. And some of them, they may be trying to send monitoring spirits your way. Um, or you may have monitoring spirits on your person or people. Um, I'll get back to that in one sec. We have tree, a fan, uh, tree affairs with your family, rose, romance, crown, honor and respect will come to you, feather, someone you know is undependable and, and sincere, fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair, lion, time to act, February, Aquarius energy. And carriage or journey, either either physical or mental. Um, month of May. So, a sheer star goddess is a good video for this on YouTube. You can pretty much tackle, use greater forces, work with them, and um, the spirits that are sent to you, monitoring spirits, to watch you and report back, tally back to person who sent them to know what you're doing and kind of like get intuitive downloads you can work with those spirits so they don't do that anymore and they can help you instead of that person if you establish and form a bond a real bond and relationship with them um, little do these people know you have to just play the game but be even better than at them and outsmart them we have needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. Like the other day I had downloads um, 
where I could hear a conversation in my head of a guy and a girl and what they were saying about me. So that's, I didn't even ask, but that's what spirit does because I have a connection with them. Um, they probably th thought that it was important or that I was privileged enough to, or important enough, whatever, where they wanted me to know. So they came to me. We have uh, carriage, okay, lion, anything else, gavel, involvement with the law, bridge, successfully overcoming a problem, and wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want with January, hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance, and we have bowl, plenty of material things, man, dealings or relationship with a man, ladder, climbing towards success, and your spirit team, too, your, your past on loved ones are also um, protecting you as well. We have box. You will receive a gift. All right, let's get the energy. So don't let these clowns um, try to think that they can come in and sway you or that they're outsmarting you because really they're not. All right coming in for Sagittarius, please. Let's see overall energy. We have Chariot and the Judgment, Scorpio Karma, and Triumphant, Fast Movement, Dissension. You're telling things up this month. Um, you are getting ahead, and you're also getting things in here checked and balanced, because the Chariot is all about steadfast forward movement, um, and basically balance of our masculine, feminine, yin and yang energies, the polarities as well. Movement, steadfast, and bold. Okay, we have the Hierophant, Pope, Marriage, Union, Study, Council, and Law. You're getting ahead, Taurus energy. And Temperance, our energy. Balance, Genius of Sun, Priest, Balancer, Art. With the Hangman, Pisces energy. Perspective and cutting loose. Literally, you're cutting yourself free. Um, you're changing your perspective so you can... Detach yourself from whoever these people are that are trying to watch you in your life or stalk you. Whatever you feel in your intuition and your gut is going on, um, if it's if it's even going on, only you would know. So take it how it resonates. If it's your story, it doesn't apply. Let it fly, like I always say. We'll get one more card. From now to the end of the month, please, for Sagittarius, is for our highest good. Um, please protect us as we channel these messages for Sagittarius and sending love and light. Also, um, protect us, protect my cross watchers, and protect my collective's families, pets, and loved ones as well. Keep them safe and send anything dark, negative back to the sender. Um, return that shit tenfold. So more to be. Um, Okay, we have strength, Leo energy, inner strength with the tower, house of God, misery, prison, quick change, and crumbling, Aries energy. High priestess at the bottom, Virgo, intuition, and inner knowing. So like I was saying, this could be you, the high priestess energy here. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. They're telling me to pull from the energy because I sense that... Archangel Gabriel and now Ariel is coming through. Um, and Jophiel. So I want to confirm, confirm. And if they come through in the readings, that know that will let us know. So yin yang, door to value. That you are indeed protected at this time and being divinely guided. Also, I picked these pretty pink flowers today. I'm not sure what they are, so let me know if you know. They're weeds, but they're really cool. Got my little porcupine, my birch candle. Okay, Archangel Gabriel. Financial constraints. Speak up about something. Your throat chakra could be um, blocked or the person, whoever it is doing magic, wants it to be black. Because like I said, they want um, to gain complete control over your life or dominate or make, sh make you go without 
the sun and door to spirit with Metatron. Another good thing you can do, guys, is um, use poppets. Um, to make a poppet of yourself, a doll. And I do have videos in my playlist already made. Um, and buy a poppet book, like I have. And basically, you put cloves, whole cloves, the herb around them. Um, this is by Sybil Wolf. Sybil Wolf. And it tells you different colors and what they're for. We did one of my tutorials was the pink one for attraction and love. And or you can make a decoy, two puppets. You can use a lot of them from, for healing or obviously the other things, which is White Raven. She's a good one to look at. She does a lot of that. But anyway, so you take the puppet of yourself and you put herbs in it and crystals and you can make a decoy in whatever energy is sent to you from other people and will go into the decoy instead of your doll, which your doll represents you. But if you don't make a decoy like I didn't, um, you just put whole clothes around it. So energies will first go to the doll before they go to you and they can't get to the doll because it's protected with clothes. So basically you're protected. Um, we have Door to Spirit, Journey, Woman Holding a Heart, and The World. I won't, my phone's on 15%. And then we have Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. Ooh, a man holding a heart. So you indeed do have love coming towards you. We have Blossoming Abundance with Community. So Confirmation Community twice. Maybe helping you with this alignment. I'm here in co-creating. Let's get two more, please. Oh, and Nikki Boo's on in the background. One of the readers. We have appreciation with the thinking woman. So you've been really anticipating something or waiting long and hard, I'm hearing, with man holding a coin. For the right one to come along. For um, to repair or just, this could be, take it as general. It doesn't even have to do anything to do with love at all. Right? Let's get the kipper. Actually, no, we're going to get into tarot because. Yeah. We're going to get into tarot. And we're going to use this deck. Don't let me down, tarot. Don't let me down. <laughs> Since the CEO of the dragon, and we're fire signs. All right, we got three of wands at the bottom with Knight of Swords, making steadfast, bold, forward movement that's going to be coming from a good place with that Hierophant card there. Like I said, people could be rooting for you, um, your spiritual team. Your community, um, your friends, your family, your loved ones. We're going to use those to clarify. Use this deck. It is on Amazon. It's the non um, golden one. I do have the gold one and the gold foil ones, all the same style. So we have the Eight of Wands with Six of Wands and Hermit. Whatever you're coming out of or you who's coming towards you is going to gain a um, victory. And if there was competition, then they're going to definitely push past that, um, if there was, and triumph over any hurdles and obstacles that may have been getting in the way of your guys' divine connection. Four swords, I've just seen. Eight of pentacles. So you guys are very hard workers, you're loyal, you're grounded, and you're practical down to earth. Four cups, eight of pentacles. It's coming in, please, for Sagittarius is at this time, six of cups. So you may have, um, you may be with this person already, or you may um, just know this person. You've known this person for a very long time. I feel like this, that is the case. It's coming in, please, for Sagittarius now until the end of the month. Eight of Cups. 
Oh boy. I'm doing some deflecting, are we? Or some of these literally are having to move on from something. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Hermit, and the Hangman. Hmm. Page of Wands. Nine of Cups. Boy, the cards want to talk. And the Sun. Looks like you have a lot of doors opening up for you at this time. Nine of Swords. Happiness. Um, waiting to come in. Or coming in, literally. Eight of Swords at the bottom. Let's get your overall energy. Six of Swords at the bottom. The King of Cups. The overall energy, please, for Sagittarius. You may have literally just overcame some form of type of conflict with your person. Queen of Swords. Five of Wands, though. And three of Wands. Alright, what's Sagittarius's overall energy, please? At this time. Said the cards want to talk. There could be a lot going on for you right now in your life. There are a lot of, like I said, doorways, opportunities opening up for you. Okay, I thought one of them flipped. I guess not. Okay, we have the hair front at the bottom. Got the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Devil, the Star in reverse, the Fool in reverse, the Knight of Swords, and Temperance. Somebody didn't want, like I was saying, didn't want you having a brand new beginning. They wanted you to be stuck or um, things not come to fruition for you. Could have been an earth sign doing this. We also have air here and Aries energy, Aquarius energy, Capricorn energy, Pisces, uh, Scorpio or Pisces Cancer energy. I'm going to put these all back. We are going to clarify. Two of swords in reverse. So you may be weighing out the situation or the pros and cons of the situation. Let's get the person coming towards you's energy. Knight of swords, king of wands. Who's moving towards my Sagittarius at this time? Eight of Swords. And the Empress. Alright, who's moving towards Sagittarius at this time? Four of Wands, the Tower, Aries, Gemini, or, um, Aries energy with the tower and fire, fire with the four wands. We have the ace of cups and the nine of pentacles. So this person's definitely watching you. They're admiring you from afar. Five of wands at the bottom. Uh, Knight of wands. Could very well have Aries Leo or Sagittarius in the chart. We have the wheel of fortune. So it looks like this is your other half, your counterpart. Queen of wands. Two more cards, please. Mm, the higher front wants to come out again. King of Cups, Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles. So they want to offer you love, but they don't know how, or they don't know what they're going to offer you with that Page of Pentacles. And that's why it might they may be taking 
um, some time here. We have the, the Emperor at the bottom, Aries energy. Let's get their overall energy. Judgment. What's this person's overall energy? They've been single for some time now. With that Nine of Pentacles. And looking for a soulmate. They could be looking for a person like you in particular. Um, because they are showing up in your reading. And they are in this demonstrating the King of Cups. They have a cup of love to give you. They want to give you their cup. They're very drawn to you. And um, now they're going to come in fast with the Knight of Wands. They're coming in fast. Um, because either they're going through a tower moment now, or they are going to, or they already did. But either way, they're ready. Because the Ace of Cups is here in the reading. Ace of Wands at the bottom. We have the King of Pentacles for their overall energy. And the Eight of Wands. Yes, communication. Two of Wands at the bottom. They've given us some time and some thought. And now they are ready to, my ears are going to proceed forward with you. Collective. Okay, let's get the overall energy between, ow, between you and this person. Three of Pentacles, two of Wands. Like I said, they may have been watching you from afar for some time now. Or gathering um, info and seeing what you're up to. Chariot. Double in reverse. So this person has healed. They've done the work. The Devil's in reverse in my deck. And I usually keep all my cards upright. Okay, Page of Swords in reverse. So they're kind of coming off a little cold and naive. The moon, they don't want um, you, they don't want to let you in on something or knowing something. Two cups. We're going to clarify Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Maybe that there was a recent third party, but they let this person go, but that's what they didn't want you to find out in order to tell you. Let's see what the page of reverse in reverse means. Page of swords. Yeah, I feel like they were testing the waters or whatever. If there is black magic going on, that's part of the magic is they don't want um, part of the black magic. They didn't want you guys working out. Are you with anybody or this person with anybody or both of you guys? Page of Swords in Reverse. Power stronger than yours are at work. It's difficult to stay one step ahead of the situation. An imposter is found out. And I got that card the other day and I never get that card in Reverse. Ever. So. That's um, pretty clear and evident that there is something going on. Um, Alright, let's... Why is this Page of Swords in reverse here? Four of Wands at the bottom. This has to do with that fact that this is your person, your home life, your stability. Temperance, Knight of Pentacles. So it could be this Earth sign who doesn't want you and this person together. Why is the tower here? Knight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Yeah. They may have walked seven of pentacles at the bottom. They may have walked away from you in the past or wanted to, thinking about walking away, but they don't want to. They want to come towards you and forgive and make up for whatever wrongs um, in the past that were done. Why is the Ace of Cups here? What are they going to offer? The Hermit. The Judgment. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Three of Cups. So Ace of Cups. I'll keep that one out. They want to give you love. They're blessings. They're happy. They're happiest when they're with you. The Hangman at the bottom. Okay, so they're healing or they've healed. Um... We're going to get seven of cups, your eight of pentacles says what your 
working on right now. Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords. Why is the Six, Seven of Pentacles, no, sorry, Eight of Pentacles here. The cards are really dark. For Sagittarius, what are they working towards? Eight of Wands. The Emperor, you're working towards... Um, I heard wish fulfillment, so this person. Why is the Seven of Cups here? For Sagittarius. High Priestess, Two of Swords. You've already... I'm hearing you've chose the one. So now you just want to get this thing in writing, like... That you guys are a thing, a connection, a relationship. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Sagittarius, this person's energy? Eight of Swords. So yeah, he or she, there may have been people in the past that were projecting or didn't want this relationship to come together. Ace of Wands. But the, the passion is too strong for it to... Um, to not work out, to not come together. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Ten of Wands. Judgment. Person put a lot of time and effort into themselves. And like I said, they the healing, that cocoon card. So it can go either way or it could apply to both of you guys. If You, you know what I mean? You guys are of the same soul substance, so it may resonate for both of you guys as well. Um on a fluid level, on a physical 3D level, whatever, 5D, which is spiritual. Um, why is the Ten of Wands here for their energy, for your person's energy? Why is the Ten of Wands here? That's carrying a burden. The Magician with the Five of Cups in reverse. So they were letting go and releasing. They were healing. Whatever broke them down, whatever broke their heart, um, or whatever pain and baggage they were carrying around with them. The cherry at the bottom, and there's dragons. That's pretty cool. All right, I want to um, get um, why the two of swords in reverse for your overall energy, Sagittarius. Why is the Two of Swords here in reverse with the Eight of Cups? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles. So that would indeed be people doing dark magic against you. Confirmation. Six of Pentacles. Justice. Seven of Swords from a sneaky person, but you're, like I said, you are going to, this is going to fail. It's going to backfire. And this person may wind up getting in themselves into some trouble with the law. We have Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay, so that's what we have out of here. I want to make sure we have enough time to get what's the tea before my phone dies. So they are going to reach out to you guys, and nothing is going to stop this divine or stop you guys from coming into being. So, like I said, just if you need to protect yourselves at this time, I would recommend it. Um, if this isn't your story, nobody is doing that, then you don't have anything to worry about. But for my other viewers, yeah, we have carless, no car repo, car issues. We have dirt digging. With screenshots. So yeah, this person is watching you, looking for dirt on you, or vice versa. Screenshot, getting evidence, proof, and facts. We have shine. Your light irritates their demons, like I was saying. They're mad that they can't be in your life anymore or part of your story. So they're the best thing that they're going to try to do is stop you from having new love in your life. We have into you, looking you up, researching you, studying Studying you, getting info. We have Happiness Hater. I believe I said that. We have Queen Rising, stepping into your power. Phrase coming up, spotlight. Um, so into you, wants you back. We have Good Chemistry, Great Vibes, Positive. Yeah, this ex person wants you back. Or somebody wants you back. We have Dusted Off. You're not letting it phase you, Flexive. We have Love Triangle. Wow. 
third party, multiple lovers, choices, dodging bullets. So you literally dodged a bullet when you left this person. Bad because they may have had a bad reputation. I don't believe I got this card since I've had this deck. And dirty offer. They're going to try to offer you a dirty ass offer. Fake accounts and moving on. Fake social media accounts to spy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. And I'm also hearing that they could have other people um, that could be by the third parties that energy is here trying to watch you or stalk you. Moving on, thank you, next. We have haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. With this person wasn't shit. This was ain't shit, and we have fake smiles. For somebody ain't shit. And we have stalker, stalking, watching, obsessed. But they don't have any effects on you because they can't find any, or dig up any dirt, or find anything out about you because there's nothing to dig up. So they're pretty much wasting their time, wasting their own time. We have hooked and bankrupt person could literally, um, like I said, you're walking karma be losing everything. For what they did to you, what they tried doing to you, they're going through karma. We have creeping, wasting time, like I just said, wasting time, confirmation, stuck, cha no changes, limited. I'm hearing stuck in the past. The versions of you guys together, they're literally nothing they can do at this point. Legal issues. Court, judges, immigration, lawyers, etc. Except dig themselves out of their own grave. Literally. We have uninterested and bad karma. So, that's what I have for you guys. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments down below. Take care. Bye-bye.